Hey guys, what is up? LJ here from LJ Films and today I'm excited to share with you guys some of my tutorials on Sony Vegas. So I'm here to reveal some of the secrets and readdress some of the information that's been outdated in my past tutorial videos. So welcome guys for sitting in. This is what we're going to create today. When the sun goes down Alright guys, here we are in Sony Vegas. As you can see, there are four different images that I applied here. And these images are available for you to download. Link in the description and uh, follow along in this tutorial. Sorry guys, the first thing I usually do, always start off with some color curves. It's going to help us determine the, the final look we're after by adding simple contrast. If you're not familiar with what color curves is, it just adds a contrast to your image. Uh, if you're new to this, try a simple S. It will add contrast to your image for sure. Before and after, bam. And the next effect I'm going to add is one of my favorite effects in Sony Vegas. And it is called the color balance, guys. So lay that onto your track. You'll thank me later. All right, here we are in color balance. If you're new to color balance, here's what it is. Um, basically, you can play with your midtones, highlights, and shadows. And within that range, what you're able to do is manipulate colors from blue, red, and green. So this is pretty much similar to an, uh, an iPhone editing app. If you're used with Instagram or a Visco Cam, Afterlight, uh, Snapseed, it's pretty much the same principles. You just mess around with your sliders and you get the colors you want. Now, usually the color balance is used to correct your image and you can use it to correct your image for sure. But I like playing with this to grade my image because but the color balance plays around with the filters that's with, with existing colors without adding on colors, if you get what I mean. Anyways, this is super effective. Uh, let's get on with it. First thing I do, I stay on the mid-tones channel. And this is gonna differ on to what look you're after. I recommend you play around with this. But uh, what I usually do is I add a bit of blue tones onto the mid tones. All right. And that's gonna introduce a bit of blue. But as you can see, it also introduced magenta. So I might have to add a bit of green with the blues just so we can subtract those magentas in my skin tones. All right. Important tip here when messing around with the color balance. Especially when you have a subject on your shot, make sure your skin tones stay the same. Okay. Once you're done with your midtones, let's add one more color balance to mess with our shadows. And this is the fun part, guys. Believe me, it's gonna work. What you're going to do is decrease the red values. And that's gonna introduce some cyan into the shadows, right? This is what it creates that film look, so to say. And if you want to be more creative with it, you can add a bit of more blue. Just a tiny bit. Bam. That looks good enough. But I might have to uh, add one more color balance. This is optional. To play with my highlights. Bam. And uh, let's add a bit of red into the highlights. Just so we introduce back to the skin tones, as you can see in this area, that's all I'm focusing on while I'm adjusting my slider, right? I'm playing around with this slider just so if you go too much, what's going to happen is uh, you're going to create a burned face, right? Uh, it's, it's burned from the sun, just kidding. So just play around until you see what you like. Bam, around there seems to be looking good. As you can see the highlight remains the nice orangey skin tone and the shadows on his left side is nice cyan so let's see a before and after one more time bam that's before bam that's after amazing right so once you're done with that what i like to add is some black and white drag it down onto your video track uh, don't be afraid, it's going to tint your image all the way. The reason why I add black and white is uh, sometimes once you play around with color balance a bit too much, 
it introduces a bit more colors onto your shot so i might have to add a bit more tint into my shots to desaturate the image again this is also optional and it's also going to differ the look you're after see the before and after it's before that's after it seems a bit more natural right and one more thing i would add to this is called levels many of you guys might be already familiar with this effect it's pretty much self-explanatory play around with your gamma input and output now it's a simple secret to how you can make your video look more film it's messing around with the output start and output end it's not going to introduce some textures but it's going to reintroduce some of the crushed blacks and crushed white and it's gonna make it look seem shot as a film okay it's a simple hack uh, 0 0.020 would be good let's bring back some whites also it's just a tiny difference check it out guys before and after you see that but believe me it's gonna give a huge huge difference onto your final edit bam so you guys get the logistics i apply the color curves and i add the uh the look and i add the tint to make it seem natural and i add the levels to make it feel a bit more filmic so that's about it guys, um, it's just a quick video which you can apply into your films. Make sure you play around with the settings and see what works for your film. And uh, you can also tweet me your shots if it was helpful on your project. So that's that guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for more content so I'll be providing more tutorials like this. And make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy guys, bye.